Hello, we're in England, and I want to discuss this very interesting artist no one's ever heard of, except the clique people in London and France and New York and Los Angeles. This artist is a really good artist. It is, um, he is called Fernand Leger, and he's French, and he was from Normandy, which is the top, top end of France. So this artist lived in the 20th century, first half of the 20th century, and you could call it Picasso era if you wanted to, to help you pinpoint what we're talking about. And his art was fairly fresh and inventive and abstract and figurative. It was striking and clear and colourful. There's no soft edges. It's fairly uh, hard, to use that expression. It's not soft or florid. Or impressionistic and he's depicting scenes from from the 20th century and general scenes so you have sort of fairly brutal images of the time some are black and white some are colored and he exhibited widely and it is is, is well known within the art business but outside the art business he really isn't very well known at all so if you find an oil painting by him, they're big money. And there is obviously now a market for limited editions. This is a limited edition. It has a printed signature. It has a pencil number, 23 out of 250. It has a, an impressed publishers or gallery or license impression. It has um, quite a wide margin. If you find a print, in tradition print where they've cut the margin off you lose this information which you need to have if you have an tradition print there are modern prints called zicle zicle which are inkjet prints and they started in around 1990 and they are literally inkjet prints they're very good quality but they are now starting to flood the market and many of the images which had which were uh, printed as limited editions when the oils were done, or near, near the time when the oils were originally done, or the paintings were originally done. There's a second generation of uh, limited editions coming through with these Gicle prints, and they look great, but they are bogus in essence, and you have to be careful not to buy them unless, unless you want to buy one. Um, often they have shiny paper and a white paper, which is clay impregnated paper. This paper is fibrous, it is slightly yellowed due to its age and that's what that's what you want to have. It looks like an old limited edition. This one has got some water damage at the top which is not uncommon. A fussy collector won't want it with water damage um, but this is, this, this is for me, you don't see it unless you get, get right up to it. It's quite a big print and there are other versions of this painting print where for example the flowers are not there so there are it's a subject he's gone over and chewed on and gone back to, rather like the, the, the sunflowers where there were multiple sets of them, depending on who you, who you, who you uh, rely on. Some people say there were eight, some people say there were six, some people say there were more than that. So leisure, and what, what, what I, I try to come up with some comments which are helpful, but the, the, the only comment I can think of really is, if you look at some of the Picasso abstract stuff, there is a crazy element, there is a carelessness, there is a sort of rushed, hurried, childlike, mad aspect to some of his works. This artist seems to be considered, and it seems to me that he's just trying to paint in a new way, and he's just trying to paint in a different, original way. And there's nothing like this in the 17th century, or 18th century, or, or much like much like in the 19th century and it's 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 a fresh approach to representing scenes um it's not realistic it's not lifelike but you can tell what the scenes represent um they are they are interesting that there is a there is a museum i believe it's in normandy with the stuff in it i've never been but it, it, once you start looking at the looking at the name you, you, you will find there's, a, there's quite a lot of his products around um I rate his works very highly and I think that 
the it's a pleasant thing to look at. It's colourful. One of the one of the problems with these abstract Picasso era prints and paintings is they can be fairly scarecrow-like and unpleasant and scary and miserable um, and sad. And I think this particular one, though the girls aren't gleeful and smiling, there's no menace there. It's a, it is a happy, optimistic scene. Some of the ones in here with, with human characters are slightly sad and melancholic. For example, that one there. It's, it's not quite as li lively as this one. So I think that amongst the artists of the 20th century, this is a good one to have and buy and collect and keep an eye out for. Thank you.